Great, so where should we start from? I think we should start from traditional cars. Look at this. Well, we've got, you know, we've got a classic here, and then we've got another classic. Yep, made out of wood. So, because in the early days, they were all made out of wood. Exactly, that's where it all started. So, this is a product from U Gear, actually. We haven't spoken about U Gear in a while, and we thought today would be a good opportunity as winter is coming. Yes. To look at this kind of product. They're yeah. kind of puzzles, really. They are. I mean, they're really clever because they, they've. They use laser cutting and their laser cutting is just spectacular. There's no yes. burn marks, it's all very even. And they've designed it so that it's easy to push the pieces out from the big sheet of plywood that you get. And they've extended it to the point where it's got a lot of mechanical control to it. So this particular one, being the uh, the early F1 car, you can actually wind up the latent motor, which is built yep. up of red, uh, yep. rubber bands. And it's got gearboxes so you can go forward and reverse. Yep. And then it'll actually drive. So. You've got a little rubber here for all the tires, which is the traction. Yep. Uh, you've got bonnet that sort of opens up like that. And let's pop on the top camera, actually. So yeah, okay, sure. That makes more sense, doesn't it? So there you go. There your bonnet's there. You can see here, cracking open. Have a close look inside. You can actually see the uh, the pistons and um, the valves there. Now, when we wind this up. You actually see all this moving around because it's it's controlled via a crankshaft. Right. Um, you might be able to just see here and get that to close in on the seat. So these sort of curvatures are really clever too because it's just the way that they've been able to laser cut these lines, that concertina, and actually be able to bend to give you those really nice yep. curves. So definitely a lot less boxy than say the dinosaur yeah. models you used to get That's from right. years ago, and they've extended to things like this. So you can see the you got this little belt that helps drive. You can see it there. And the steering wheel actually operates from here. Pretty clever. And then here we've got a spot for the winder. So this is what we use for cranking over the, right, the, the engine. Yeah. Okay, so I might give that a go now. I'm not sure if I've got the gearbox in the right way. I can never remember which way this goes. So you can see there, there's a gear shift there. Now I've got an idea that might need to be in the middle because that might be neutral. Okay, so from the front, you can see the winding part there. Look on the bottom. You see the engines made out of rubber bands, both sides, and then there's a crankshaft down the center. All right, and so let's see if I wind this up right. All right, so I'm going to stick that in there. Shall I hold it? I you better hold it because I don't know what I'm doing here, but. That's in? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so it's winding up. No, looking good. Very ingenuitive piece of puzzle. It is, it is, it is. Alright, right, it's feeling tight now. Alright, let's let's let that So we pull the gear back, isn't it? The... I think let this just open up because once that goes, these will start moving. No, it's not this one. It's not that one? Not this one? No. I wonder. Is, is there it... like a handbrake type of thing on it? I don't know. I remember. Oh, here, here, here. I think there's yeah. a lock here. Ah, there is a lock. All right. I wonder so, if. You ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it. There you go. Wow. That's brilliant. All right, let's try that again because. I guess you need to keep that lock to be able to wind it up, otherwise we'll keep running. Yes. And this one to change direction backwards or forwards. Yes. All right. So you can hear the um, ratchet working. Which is quite clever because that means you don't have to keep this all wound up all the time. That's right. All right, let's pull it out. All right. Might, might hold it at this angle so you can sort of get a better idea of seeing the valves and, and stuff moving. And then, all right, you ready for it? That's brilliant. How good's that? And that's all wood. That's, that's amazing. Wood, yes. So all you need for this is when you get them, they come in a, a pack like, like that. So, like like pack. so that's a yep. giraffe. giraffe. Uh, Giraffe? A uh, horse, sorry. <laughs> it looks like a giraffe. Oh, it doesn't actually. <laughs> the horse is going to get upset with that. Yeah, I think the horse is not my, happy. My next, next time I don't know why it came about a giraffe. I think I think maybe <laughs> this part here looks like a giraffe, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Let, I guess let me so. see it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it comes flat pack like this. Yes. So, as you can see, there's probably I don't know, six, seven, eight yeah. um, sheets of balsa. Yes. And uh, they're all pre cut, yep. as you can see here. So you need to carefully pop them out. Yeah, and that's quite clever here. You can see some of these clever joints here because they just press in 
and they they clip into into place. Yeah, 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 definitely. So you don't really need any glue, although you can glue them if you want them to be a, a bit more uh, solid. That's right. Uh, they're, they're very fine without any glue. Right. But a bit of sandpaper, and then for the moving parts, a little yeah. bit of wax that helps, helps to lubricate it. Definitely helps. Yeah. 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 So you gears, I mean. These are fantastic models. They first started off crowdfunding many That's years right. ago. And I think they started off with train and then they eventually moved into this. And they have a lot of different things now, even the STEM educational They're stuff. They're coming through with some, uh, yeah, quite a few new products. Mm. Uh, as you said, a STEM. Yep. And even though other companies have tried to copy them, yes. um, I guess they quality as for engineering and the quality of the build too is far yes. superior to anyone else. Really. Yes. Um, we have tried a few others. We have um, Iwa from memory. Yes, that's and right. I guess um, the interesting product they make is uh, are the tanks. Yeah. They're very unique, and also the planetarium. Yes. That's quite special. That's a gigantic planetarium. That yes. It's fully functional. Yes. But otherwise, for general products, I think your gear is it's um it's ahead of everyone really. They yeah, it has. It's a bit more work. finesse, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So I mean, you just look at some of these details. Uh, let me oh, check. Oh, yep. Yeah. Check it back. Just the details that they're laser engraved, just on the wheel itself. You know, the tire detail. Got all these. Oops. Lots of crank there. Okay, so that's that's the steering mechanism there. Oh, they're very educational. Yes. Very clever stuff. Yeah. That's really good, and that's U gears. So. Yes. And why is it called U gears? Do you know that? Yes. Oh, you must have done some research before. That's because they're from the Ukraine. Aha, ah, that's Ukrainian gears. Ukrainian, that makes sense. That's right. And a U gear name sounds really good, actually. Yes, yes. Well, synonymous now, isn't it? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah.